Hi everyone and welcome back to Adventures. I'm having a difficult time keeping up with all the cruise information. It's coming out almost on a daily basis. So let's dive right into it right after this. Okay, before we start this video, I have a few things I need to explain. So a couple a couple days ago, I put up a video with a lot of the pictures that you may see on this video. And what had happened is immediately after I downloaded it or published it, I got a little notice from the YouTube police saying that the music that I used, the copyrighted music that I used on my last video, I was not allowed to. So looking back, I didn't realize that my 30-day free... <laughs> My free, my 30 day free trial had run out. So they busted me really, really quickly. So anyway, um, about 175 views were on that. So, but after they busted me, it pretty much stopped. Um, so anyway, what I'm doing on this video is I'm splicing some of the old with some of the new because the information is really valuable and you probably didn't get much of this information. So anyway, Please forgive me, I'm a new YouTuber and um, I learned my lesson well and they really are on top of things and I appreciate that. So let's get on with the show. So I'm happy to report that the Grandiosa cruise ship has returned back to Genoa after three consecutive seven day cruises without incident at all. This is so important because they're laying the groundwork for all future cruises. We're proud of them. Good job guys. mishap that happened out of all the problems that could have happened was one family decided to leave their structured shore excursion. Now, 
the ship was very strict about their policy about passengers staying with their guided tour when they're on shore. They weren't even allowed to go ashore unless they were on a ship's tour. That was it was very important because the cruise line had the agreement with the shore authorities that they would keep the passengers away from the locals. That way, separating any possible contamination between passengers and shore and shore and passengers. And every passenger agreed to that rule before they boarded. They decided to take the tour and then they left the tour. Now, when they came back to the dock, Rumor has it that their luggage was sitting on the dock waiting for them. They were not allowed to even board the ship. Now you may ask yourself, how does that work? I mean, how did their luggage get there? So there's actually a protocol on board when that happens. If someone's ill or if they miss the ship or if there's some type of problem where they have to hand the passengers their luggage. So what usually happens is that a couple cabin stewards will go into the cabin and they will very nicely put all the belongings into the passengers' suitcases. But they also have people there that are watchers. Also, sometimes they actually videotape the things being put into the suitcases. That way, passengers can't come back and say, this is missing or that's missing, someone stole this or, um, cause a problem. Usually you have quite a few people in the cabin organizing the items, getting them back into the suitcase and taking them out to the dock. Fortunately, this family was Italian because all the passengers on board were Italian. So they probably didn't have too far to fly to go home. I'm sure it was at their own expense and they probably forfeited their cruise money. But the cruise line was very strict the protocols are very, very important, and I applaud them for standing firm and doing what they need to do. And here is the press release concerning this unidentified family. In line with our health and safety protocol that was developed to ensure health and the well-being of our guests and crew and the communities we visit, we had to deny re-embarkation to a family who broke from their shore excursion yesterday. They departed from the organized shore excursion. The family broke away from the social bubble created for them and all other guests and therefore could not be permitted to reboard the ship. And for some more exciting news, another cruise ship has set sail. It's Costas Line cruise ship, the Deliciosa, has also set sail last Sunday for a cruise in Italy. It will be exciting to see how they do as well. But there's a possible game changer coming for cruising and for all travel possibly. So along with the temperature taking, the social distancing, and the sanitizer, a new test kit will be coming out next month that can possibly detect if you have the coronavirus within 15 minutes. The Abbott Research Laboratories has created a new testing kit that has recently been approved by the FDA. The United States has been making millions of these tests and sending them out. And very shortly, they will be able to be bought by anyone for about $5 a test. Comes in a little card. And within 15 minutes, you'll be able to know if you have the virus or not. This is indeed a game changer, especially for cruising. So I'm sure we will be hearing more about these tests in the near future. But for now, I have three things I still wanna cover about cruise news. Number one is Carnival Cruises may have found a way to begin cruising again in North America. We have a couple dates we have to keep track of. The CDC, as far as North America, they have the no sale order until September 30th. Now, hopefully they will not push that back, but that's the date so far. Now also CLIA, which is kind of the organization of the cruise ships, they also have set their own date um, and that is October 31st. So that's the date the cruise line feels like they can start cruising again and at least planning to cruise again. Carnival may have found a way to set up cruising again. Now in Germany, we have cruise ships that are sailing from Germany only in German ports. Also in Italy, we have the cruise ships that are only sailing Italian ports. As far as North America goes, can we just sail US ports in America? No, it doesn't work that way. We have to have one foreign port for the cruise ships to be able to sail. 
There is one port that has actually asked the cruise line to consider, please, please come back, we miss you. And that's the island of the Bahamas. So what they're considering is not only opening up the Bahamas for the cruise ships, most of the cruise ships also have their own private islands in the Bahamas. So that would take care of one foreign port, maybe going out of Fort Lauderdale or Miami doing a Caribbean cruise. Hit the Bahamas, also the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John's. Um, no, not so much, not St. John's, but some of the American ports. That way we could open up the Caribbean for cruising. Another bit of information is that Australia has added another three months to its no international travel or no cruise ships. It was supposed to end September 17th, but they pushed it out another additional three months to December 17th. They still feel it's a bit too risky. But the good news is they are hoping that Australia will be open for the Christmas holidays. Ho, ho, ho. And lastly, we have some news about Princess Cruises. And you know, I'm a princess girl. The company has decided to reposition the beautiful, majestic Princess cruise ship. Now this ship was designed specifically for the Asian market and it's one of my favorite ships. I've been in Japan the last three summers, well, not this past summer, but the prior three summers, either on the Diamond Princess or the Majestic. They're wonderful ships. The Majestic will actually be going to Alaska during the Alaska season. And the Regal, which usually is one of their grand ships in Alaska, the Regal will be staying in the Baltic doing the Baltic Scandinavian cruises during the summer. Another change is that the Grand will only have a couple cruises in Alaska. Not sure where they're sending the Grand, but that's one of the smaller cruise ships. So if you enjoy the huge ships for Alaska, we have the Royal and now the Majestic in Alaska doing the season. We also have some of the smaller ships. So if you enjoy the smaller ships, they are still there. So to close this show out, I've put together a little montage of some of my time in Japan on the Majestic. But before I play that, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please make sure that you have subscribed just by touching that button. Also push the bell and you will get notified of all of my upcoming videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or comments below. Okay, until next time, ciao for now and watch what's coming up.